Right, morning. Round two, Bushard Tour Centurion. Every single shot we're going to film again today. We've got off to a pretty decent start, round one. Shot two under par. Probably left a few out there on the golf course. So we're just going to go out with no expectations again. Just take it for what it is. Just take each hole as it is, all the cliches. And uh, see what we can do. I'm just going to hit some balls to warm up. Then we're going to go down to the first tee, starting on one today, par five. And uh, yeah, let's try and get into contention. Four shots back right now. Right, warmed up, feeling good. 8.01 tee time. Just gonna get down there now. Like I said, starting on the front nine this time. So we've got a nice par five opener. So yeah, I'm gonna be checking in every couple holes like yesterday, just to have a little chat when it's quiet. But uh, yeah, let's try and move up the leaderboard, see what we can do. solid start it's always nice to hold a birdie part on the first so like obviously I wanted to knock that bunker shot close but having like a 15 foot part it's nice to build that confidence and I've got the speed of the greens decently today they're a bit quicker than yesterday um, so I've adjusted quick which is nice and yeah things feeling good so
solid front nine. It's, uh, it's a bit windier today, so I'm not sure what the scores are like. But I know Brandon, who I'm playing with, is doing well, and the other lads also doing pretty well. Um, so, if anything, I'd say we've probably made a bit of ground two under front nine. Um, it's just a shame about that bogey on the last. It's just a not a committed wedge because I had long going long in my mind. So I just toey slapped it on the green and left myself just miles. But yeah, it's lots of chances on this nine, so make a few more and uh, be in a good spot. Seriously hot. I know there's going to be loads of people saying, why are you wearing black? But it's just what I'm wearing today. My, my hat's white, so that's what I was, I was trying to offset it. Um, I think it's about 35 degrees. These boys are fine. They don't phase them at all. Um, I'm struggling, but I've just taken on like a shitload more water. I've had a go hydrate, or whatever they're called. And um, yeah, it's just for a few holes. I was feeling a bit dizzy and weird. Just lost concentration a bit, so I've got my three three more bottles of water. I'm just gonna make sure they last, but also make sure I get them all down. I'm gonna try and finish strong. That's a good swing. So let's get some birds. Bit of a grind for par on that par five. Again, that's like, that's like that little stinger shot that I use to keep it in play. If it goes left or right and it gets caught with the Kikuyu, even the fairway, it just swallows it up. So, not ideal, struggling for a par, but a uh, good par putt in the end. Now, I'm in a decent position here. We've got a short par three and a good par four finish, but downwind and a squeaky trolley.
that was a very, very hot day. I don't know if I actually mentioned it enough times in the video, but I was, I was struggling a bit out there. I'm not going to lie. And after getting back and editing for the last three hours to get this video up for you, I am, uh, to use an old English phrase, bollocksed. So I'm going to get an early night, but I just thought I'd do a little recap before the next round. So yeah, today was today was pretty solid. Wasn't so up and down. Got off to a nice solid start. Was three under through seven holes or have many holes was yeah seven holes. Made a few bogeys. I was just feeling a bit just feeling a bit off in that little stretch. Uh, but then just took on more water and just got some food on. And the last three holes, I was pretty happy to grind out some pars because my putting sort of left me halfway through the round. You've probably noticed um, when I was missing like five footers per birdie. My putting left me and I've been trying to get a bit more natural feely with the putter and that's great in a friendly scenario when you're just out having a roll of the ball. But when you're in a pressurized situation and putts, starting, putts start to mean something, you don't really want that much of a loose stroke. So I'll just tighten things up again for the last sort of like seven holes then made birdie and then ground it out with some nice par putts over the last three holes. Uh, the last one was a little tapping, but yeah, just hold some key par putts because at one, and, and I was pretty happy with that finish to be fair, because I was struggling at one point and just trying to hold on, but we got in there four under par with five shots back, tied 13th, I think. Very early start tomorrow, 7.07, .07, which means I've got to get up even earlier. Alarm set for 4.45, which is a time that I rarely see. It's the time that I used to see, but um, not after being asleep. So yeah, we're going to um, get an early night and go again tomorrow. Let's try and, I'm going to get on that putting green, just solidify the stroke, just get the ball rolling, and then hopefully we can hold some more putts. Just keep hitting it solid and hopefully move up the leaderboard tomorrow. See you again. I'm going to try my best to get that video up tomorrow night for tomorrow's round. Thanks for watching.